Cyber you're a cyber bully's kids, bro. I don't like cyber bullies, and you're a cyber bully. I'm sorry for bullying you. No, it's, I mean, it's not okay. <laughs> wow, you're so serious. Jake Paul is one of the most respected creators on the platform. For example, he teaches his young and incredibly impressionable fan base how to respect women. He's also kidnapped some small child and pretends to abuse him, all in the name of YouTube content. Oh! Yo, I hit, I hit Titus' head. Oh my god. And Jake also literally takes candy from babies. I, I don't mean that as a statement, I mean it as a fact. Are you gonna eat this whole thing? Most likely not. <laughs> <laughs> it does amaze me that no matter how much trouble Jake Paul gets into, he's usually okay because his brother Logan tries to one-up him. I have to drop something. Oh! Oh, Yo, catch it, catch it, catch it. But Jake Paul has now done the worst thing in his career. He made a video on a commentary channel. We haul your videos. We drive your meme economy. We guard you while you nab. Do not. Focus. I don't know if you heard about this. Making a video on a commentary channel is probably the worst thing you can do because we are all parasites. We'll leech onto that and we'll squeeze one video you made on us into 45. Well, you didn't do a commentary video on anyone irrelevant like Mimulus or I'm Alan. No. He did it on the most important commentary channel of all. The one and only Cody Co. <laughs> Apparently he's an ex-Viner. Why was everyone on Vine, dude? Damn. Probably the only person to come out that app uh, with sanity. Ew! You are either a good guy or a Jared Leto supervillain. There's no in between. So anyway, uh, Jakey uploaded a video. I, I shouldn't say Jakey because then people think of naked Jakey. <laughs> Jake uploaded a video confronting internet bully Cody Ko. I like the, uh, in the thumbnail, there's just like an inflation of his own face by about 5%. I, for one, am really happy to see that Jake's uploaded this video because all commentary channels are just cyber bullies. Plus, much like, uh, Morgz's mom, Cody Ko is gonna probably overtake me in subs real soon. So Jake Paul putting him in his place Hopefully that'll create a bit of a divide. Let's take a little look at Cody Ko's social blade and see the impact that Jake Paul's had. He had a 90k sub day. He had a fuck. I'm about to confront like one of my biggest haters, 28 year old. LA YouTubers in general, when you introduce yourselves, stop putting the handle of yourself in the video, especially when your YouTube profile picture literally has your own face. Hey guys, it's me, Parsi Nicole. Uh, here's my handle up here. Here, you wouldn't know it's me because uh, my profile picture is a t t t TV. Maybe if this video was nabbed and stuck on like a nine gag Facebook page or like, I'd get that, okay? But any other situation, there's no point. <laughs> I'm not YouTube's hero. I'm not here to like save the day and and like, you know, do 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 like all this stuff, but this guy Cody Ko is a bully. He's a cyber bully. No, you're not YouTube's hero, Jake, because of all the things I just mentioned at the start of the video. The thing is, you could literally overlay any that's cringe episode that Noel and Cody have done. And they could just be reacting to Jake talking normally about himself. <laughs> Boom! Dick shot! I love the thought of him like Last setting up his camera and focusing it <laughs> on his abdomen. By the way, if you like seeing another commentary channel and you're recommended, be sure to subscribe today. There are hundreds and thousands of us and we keep growing. Please don't let me sink into the abyss, please. I'm like on top of the pile of uh, shit. Don't let me sink, please. And I hate, I f***ing hate cyber bullies. Like, I hate it. It's the worst thing in the world. People hiding behind their computers, talking shit about other people. It's consumed our generation. It's consumed our society. And I think it's largely in part to do with these negative trolls. Whoa! Did he say the word troll? Bruh, that's pretty lit. You hate cyber bullies, Jake? I hate when a YouTuber makes an incredibly mediocre music video and then it gets into Spotify and it keeps coming up in my Spotify recommended. Gee, I hope nobody is taping this. You know what's also inevitable? Apart from a funny Thanos meme, my merch. It's so cool, guys. Please buy it. Good luck, double print. It's so cool. And guys, remember, not ethically made, ethically made. Oh, got the words wrong. Who are literally causing the youth to be like 
negative and, and have like a lot of animosity in their souls. Reads one Dark Souls item description. You guys, you see this chapstick? It was crafted with animosity and hatred. Some say the furtive pygmy himself held it while moisturizing his chap lips. Cody Ko has made probably like 10 videos now and dozens of tweets talking shit about not only me but my brother and they're some of his like most viewed videos. Uh, I am going to confront Cody Ko in person today. A man on the internet made a video about me. Now I guess I gotta go end his career, lol. Please grow up, dude. You make content for nine-year-olds and you've said in interviews, you're clearly aware of it. Who is your audience? Who do you make your videos for? Yeah, my audience is definitely younger. Um, I, I'd say it's like eight years old to like 16 years old. I'll never understand how YouTubers can get egos, like ever. So this guy called Cody kind of made a video on me and he, he mocked my music video, Litmus. I thought it was pretty cool because you're, you're combining Christmas with Lit. It's pretty lit, bro. If you don't know, his fan base, he's dubbed them Jake Paulers. Creative. He came out with a song. A new song. They both come out with songs, actually. <laughs> I love Jake's face when he's being, like, memed on the Jake Paulers. Like, his brain could not comprehend that someone on Earth said that Jake Paulers, bad. You can see his eyes twitching, like, his hand is shaking to pause the video, but he keeps slipping. This is what happens when you surround yourself by yes-men all day. You become utterly delusional. Yes-men and four-year-olds. Logan's, I watched that one. He's uh, dressed up as a minion. I don't know. Who the f made that call? Who signed off on that? Who was like, yeah, dude, for your first single ever for the it, video, you should definitely dress up as the thing that everybody in America hates most. I, 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 can't, I can't imagine like being a human and having this much hatred inside. Like, that's when he's picking the worst Cody Co clips. He just sounds like he's trying to defend minions now. Bro, minion good, not bad, bro. Like, I, I saw a minion. Minion funny, bro. Like, yellow man, bro. Uh -huh. For your first single ever for the it video, you should definitely dress up as the thing that everybody in America hates most. I wonder if Jake got like a bribe from Illumination, just so he defends minions. The point is, here's some examples of like, the people he shit on, the jokes he's made about people. Uh, it's just not acceptable. This is Logan Paul with better hair. <laughs> a daily dose of vitamins, and I'll make a couple of these health drinks. Kamu powder? Oh, dude, you're drinking cum powder? He's just a ball of hatred that has a fan base that could that could affect the the, the world. Like I said, I don't want to be like a, the YouTube's hero right now. <laughs> cum powder. It's not the most 12 year old joke ever, and Jake Paul's like, bro, he's just a ball, ball of hatred. hatred. We're in our society, bro. He's trying to paint Cody as some like Count Frollo tier Disney villain when Jake Paul has outdone Cody on Disney tier level. A million times over. Hey Jake, remember that time you tried to hire an intern to work at your place for free despite the fact that you're all multi-millionaires? That, that was pretty lit, bro. This guy is 28 years old, like, sitting behind the computer making fun of, like, kids that are younger than him. Why does everyone do this? They always pull the age card. In the last video I did, Trisha Paytas so pulled that on Ethan definitely. Klein despite being, like, Three years younger than him. Dude, you're like six years younger than Cody Ko. Like, it's not even that much. You're both guys in your 20s. And if you are jealous of someone, if you don't like someone, if you find yourself like talking shit about someone, like change that narrative and change that conversation and don't be a part of just like bringing people down. So Jake Paul wants to spread positive vibes. Stop being hateful or mean in videos and just let's bring everyone together. Kind of ironic, seeming that you use all of your music videos to snide on people constantly. Yeah, I'm talking about you, you begging for attention, talking shit on Twitter too, but you still hit my phone last night. It was 52 and I got the text approved and all the recordings too. Don't make me tell them the truth. Now, I know that every day bro's a bit of a low hanging fruit. It's even got more dislikes than likes at this point. But here's a music video that Jake Paul dropped about two weeks ago. Said you had enough and you're leaving. Then you wanna call me when you need shit. Trying to grab my heart playing defense. Got me drunk texting on the weekend. For someone who really wants to spread positivity, you do a very good job at talking smack about your exes. But like, I do want to get a point across that like, that Cody, you like, you are a piece of That's true. I've heard stories of like, girls, again, crying and like, literally being so hurt by your videos that like it's ruined their days or weeks even. I love how he makes this statement with no proof at all. What girls, Jake? 
The girl that ate an onion during ASMR. All right, let's see what else she's got on here. Eating a raw onion ASMR. Oh my God, no way. Don't do it, don't do it. I, Jesus Christ. It's hard to cut an onion. I wonder how she's doing now after that video where Cody relentlessly beat on her. Is she in a deep depression? depression. Has she gone into hiding? Um, if you guys don't know, Jake, finally, someone had the courage to come forward and call out this guy who's just bullying everyone. I can't take it anymore. Oh wait, no. She made an ironic response actually mocking Jake Paul. Maybe because of the fact that Jake Paul's took it upon himself to be a self-declared internet vigilante. But anyway, Jake Paul confronts Cody Ko. He storms into the office, awkwardly pulls on the back of his shirt, and they see each other eye to eye. <laughs> Up, and this confrontation devolves into the most awkward video I've seen in my entire life. Cody goes to shake Jake's hand. He doesn't respond. 100 damage. Jake Paul, with his beginner level speech craft, says the word cyberbully four times straight. For real. Like, if there's kids out there, like, I, I've met girls who you've, like, into like gone in on and like I don't I don't with it. Who? I don't I don't need to, I don't need to bring up their names to cause drama for them. I love how Cody even asks who like what girls and Jake just denies it. Okay. You know what I'm saying? But like, but like that that shit that you do like you sit in front of camera like actually like can resonate into people's hearts and like that's not cool. I just don't like it. Uh -huh. Bruh. Yeah, bro, like, you could try and do something good for the planet instead of just hating on people. Like, my brother Logan, he did a really funny try not to laugh challenge, bro. You, you should try something like that. You got it, you got it, you got it. That's my boy. <laughs> but damn it. Yo, where's, like, the, where do you stop? Where's the line, you know? Where's it, like, funny versus, like, that's f***ed up and like you're you're spreading like a lot of shit on the internet that's bad. I mean, we all have different lines. You just know for a fact that if Cody made all these videos on these people, but never did a video on Jake, Jake would just not be here. Watch out, Cody. Jake's gonna vague about you in his next music video. I'm on one side of the spectrum and he's on one other, the other side of the spectrum, you know? But there should be like a middle ground where like, we can actually make a difference and he can be a little bit more thoughtful. I don't even know what Spectrum means, bro. I just kind of picked it up from a, a, a thesaurus, bro. Yeah. So like comedians. He didn't really seem like he was trying to budge. Like you were you were pretty understanding, you know? And you were trying to like find like a new perspective and I don't think he was really open to that. Thank you, paid cameraman Jake Paul. Having a totally unbiased take on the situation. He like he was trying to budge. Like you, were, you were pretty understanding. Right? Maybe he's just a sociopath or like something like, I don't know. Like I don't want to talk about mental health, but like, Maybe he has like a mental health, health issue where he doesn't have empathy for other people. Uh, mental health? I don't want to talk about that topic, mental health. No, we don't talk about that on this channel. But I will proceed to not say I'm talking about mental health and then actually talk about mental health. The sad part about it is that I think the only way he will change like maybe his, his processes or his thoughts and everything is if he faces enough backlash. Jake Paul wants to cancel Cody Ko. Unironically, he's just hinted that his fan base should go and cancel him. I'm about to end this man's whole career. Nice. What the oh! For example, James Charles gets accused of being a sexual predator, gets accused of, you know, doing shit to her best friend, like going behind their back, being a snake to get what he wants. The list goes on and on and on. Um, just like my brother was in a big controversy. He was a crazy, like out of control, filmed whatever he wanted and had this big ego and thought the world couldn't touch him until he ran into a brick wall with a controversy. James Charles, a uh, snake, manipulator, predator. But my brother, uh, ju ju just a controversy, yeah, just, just a controversy. Also, fun fact here, you know that Jeff guy who set this whole thing up? Apparently this barber thing was his idea, which Jake Paul stormed in on. Apparently Jake was just bamboozling everyone. All right, I got some explaining to do. Cancel me. I want to be canceled. I want to be- They won't cancel you, know? you because you want to be canceled. My plan worked out perfectly. About two years ago, Jake asked me to join Team 10. He offered me a contract where I'd give 20% of my earnings to him for eight years. This was all one big manipulation to get a shout out from Jake Paul and he took the bait. My friend Jeff has like a podcast YouTube kind of show where he interviews guests and Cody Ko is going on to his barbershop guest podcast thingy today. It worked out perfectly. 
Cody was never in danger. I got my security there on the couch. I got Reggie here that's actually an undercover cop posing as a 19 year old kid. And it just so happens my barber tools also work as weapons. There was never any danger. I did this all just as a big manipulation so I could get a shout out from Jake Paul for free. Thank you, Jake. And thank you, Cody. Cody uploaded his own video on this admitting that he's a cyber bully. I'm really happy you did that. I'll, I'll leave a link to that down below. So what have we learned in this video? Uh, Jake Paul bad. Now, that's quite a hot, controversial take. I don't know if anyone's really said that before, but yeah. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe because Morgz's mom is actually going to overtake me, I think, in like two days from now. I want to I wanna delay until three, okay? Because I'm not having that woman overtake me. Not yet, anyway. Jake Paul videos. No,